What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're working in the bait shop. Got a lot of stuff going on, you know, all day. Y'all see, there's some some construction going on. So I've just been in here locked in, making a bunch of baits. Got some new molds I'm gonna show y'all. This is gonna be a bait maker's vlog. Haven't had one in a minute. I was like, hey, I'm in here working. Might as well record some of it. Make some content for you guys. So yeah, other than that, I got some plastic in the microwave right now getting ready. Now I'm gonna show y'all this new mold I just got in from Epic Bait Molds. Actually, I got two. They sent your boy another one that I will show y'all a little bit later on. But for now, microwave's better go off. Let's get to pouring. Oh yeah, we got a lot of new going on. We got a new color, new mold. The day that I'm filming this is the day that I just released the Kelly Bates Kelly Crawls. Those are now available on kellybates.com. Here we go. This color is called Mud Motor Red. Newer color in a new mold. Nice, slow, and steady. Think about these Epic Bait Molds. It's hard to get a bad run. Like, really. Unless you messed up and you're pouring too hot or pouring too cold or pouring too fast. Like, if you do it right, it's it's hard to mess up, especially using these Epic Bait Molds. Some of the best molds I've came across. Yeah, check out that color. Sheesh. That is Mud Motor with a whole bunch of red flakes in it. Gives it that red tint. I love it. I, it's one of my favorite colors that I've been making. This mold is so beautiful, so clean. It will not last long. Boom. There we go. This is the three and a half inch rocket grub from Epic Bait Molds. I have the four and a half inch one, but it takes so much plastic, I've never been able to use it. So we got the little brother, and these are sick. I absolutely love this. I love the design. These are gonna make like the perfect jig trailers, chatterbait trailers. Or if you have a small enough hook, flip this thing around. In that new color, mud motor red. Yeah. And there we go. Three and a half inch rocket grub in the new color, mud motor red. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This little thing right here on the back of a chatterbait or a swim jig. Or hell, even like a spinnerbait or something. Juicy. Gonna be juicy. But speaking of swim baits, they also, Epic Bait Molds. Again, huge shout out to them. That's where I get most of my molds. But they also sent your boy a little open pour. A collab that they had going on with a marling bait. This little thing right here, this is the 3.9 inch Epic Mullet. Look at that open pour i don't do too many open pours i'm trying to get into it i still need to get like a hot plate and everything because you have to heat up the mold before you can pour it like instead of using the injector you just pour straight from the cup it's definitely a whole nother ball game takes a lot of skill honestly but i did just do like a little test run of the new marling baits and check this bad boy out that thing is sick the design of this is so awesome huge shout out to marling baits epic bait modes i mean bro that is such a good looking spoon bait. I cannot wait to throw this around. This thing is going to catch a lot of fish. I mean, just look at that, bro. It's so sick. So sick. Again, I can't wait till I actually get the stuff that I need to really do these open pours and really start making these badass spoon baits. Don't you be rolling in that dirt, girl. You hear me? You just got a bath yesterday. Don't be rolling around in that dirt. Getting all dirty. Okay? I know. It's it's like a jungle gym for you. You absolutely love digging, but hey. Perfect timing. Just went and checked the mailbox. We got the old mystery tackle box in. I've been subscribed to mystery tackle box for like almost three years now. I'm always excited for it, so I'm opening it here with you guys. Boom. Oh, okay. So first off, we got a good reflex skipping jig. Always need one of those, especially this time of year, flipping around beds and stuff. Oh yeah, and a nice little like bluegill natural color. Yeah. This with the Kelly Craw on the back. Hey, I'm just saying. Actually, I'm gonna go get one just to show y'all. I really wanted to. I could go in there and color match this and make like the perfect trailer for it. But we're just working with what I've had made. There is that reflex jig with the Kelly Crawl and Kentucky Bluegrass. Not too bad, not too shabby, just for something that I had laying around. Oh yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Maybe even trim it down a little bit. And there it is with the rocket grub. Oh gosh, yeah, that is perfect right there. Yeah, fish catching machine. Reflex skipping jig from Excite Baits. Pretty slick. And then, ooh, we got a Callens Tickle Series, the three inch tickle grub in white. That's a good looking little soft plastic right there. Nice little grub. Ooh, that tail is crazy. That tail is insane. Yeah, check that out. Look at that. That's awesome. I love that. All the little like balls on the end makes it sit perfect. It curls up absolutely perfect. This is really cool. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what scent they got on here, but it smells good. That on like the back of a spinner bait or something, gonna be the juice. Three inch tickle grub from Callens. Yeah, sick. Next up. Love these guys. Absolutely love this company. 13 Fishing, the Joystick Rabbit Ear tail. Blackberry Cobbler, six inch stick bait with like a tail from 13 Fishing. Love 13 Fishing, one of my favorite companies out there. They make some absolute fire soft plastic and hard baits. They really got it figured out over there, 13 Fishing. What's that, the slaunch sauce was that? Yeah, the, the donkey sauce. That smells so good. There's something about it, something about it. And that, oh my God. See bro, these. These are insane. 
It's that stick bait, but it also has that tail on the end, that split tail. Yeah, that black and blue. I mean, that's just a fish catching machine right there. That's sick. I love seeing how different companies do their black and blue. Like, I do my black and blue with a lot of, like, medium size square blue flake. They have a lot of big hexagon cut blue flake. And then there's some companies out there that mix it up. They do, like, real small blue flakes and big blue flakes together. It's like, black and blue is one of the most simplest colors you can make. But it seems like every company kind of does it their own little way, and I love that. We got some stickies. Offset worm hooks, always need those. And Stickies is a really great company. Three aught round bin. Just some good old, y'all can barely see that. Just some hooks, just some worm hooks. Always need some hooks. And next up, the only hard body bait in here this time is the TS-115 Team Arc Topwater Popper or a topwater slider. Performs a wider slide to side walking action, like so it's a walking bait. Three number four inch premium treble hooks. Yeah, yeah. I don't do a whole lot of top water. And I, I low key think I got one of these in one of my past boxes, but hey, I, I'm a collector of baits. I might not ever use these to actually fish. I just love having them and looking at them. And this top water right here, that is a good looking bait. Yeah. I want to get into this too. I want to start making my own, like get into the airbrushing and everything. But yeah, I don't do a lot of top water. It's just not really the thing here in Kentucky. We just, you know, our little Kentucky bass, they just ain't on it when it comes to the top water fishing. But hey, if I ever go travel down to Florida or Georgia or something like that, definitely bringing this. And then of course, got a good old sticker. That's a fire sticker. The bass in America. Oh gosh, yeah. Then of course the card tells you what's inside, and then good old Dibbles Digest read that while you're on the toilet or something and there we go that is going to do it for the what month are we in the may box not too shabby not too shabby at all a couple of these baits we're going to use probably tomorrow i'm going fishing tomorrow and one of these days if you're subscribed to mystery tackle box you're going to get one of these at your door you're going to pop her open and you're going to see this logo right here on one of these packs i promise you it's going to happen but yeah i got some plastic that i just got sitting around literally in a box probably not going to get used some just some random colors that i like mix together one day we're going to melt a couple of these down do a couple more runs of this rocket grub maybe a couple other modes just to see how it looks so yeah let's get to chopping let's get to melt all right so the first two random pucks of plastic i pulled out was this right here this is like a purple green pumpkin i actually love this color this green pumpkin with purple flakes and then this random it's like a bluish clear with a bunch of blue and black flake i don't know what i use this for but it was in there we're gonna mix the two i think that pearl with that blue and then this green pumpkin it might do something pretty awesome so we're gonna chop these up throw them in the microwave let's just see what this can make That green pumpkin's extremely salty. This one has absolutely zero salt. So that tells me I use these for two completely different baits. I think I might have made some crappie darts out of this blue and then probably like a Kelly bug or something out of the purple green pumpkin. Now mixing the two together, I don't know what this is gonna do. I think it's gonna be dope though. And mark where you go. About three minutes to start off. All right, let's see what we got after three minutes. Ooh, right now, kind of looks like boogers, but. Trust the process, trust the process. Definitely need to go back in there for a little bit longer. All right, y'all, so this color, I love it. I mean, this is sick. It's actually sick. We're gonna do the run, let these set up, and I'm just gonna show y'all what they look like in the bait. But this color right now, insane. Like we might've just accidentally made my new favorite color. Wow. Dude, this is so insane. Oh my gosh, okay. That color's sick. While that sets up, I'll try to show y'all what it looks like in the cup. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, check that out. It's like a galaxy pearl, like, bro. It's not too oversaturated, so it doesn't look terrible. That color is insane. I actually really like that. It almost looks like we use maybe some sort of like mica powder or something like that, but no. That's just two completely random colors put in a cup. One of them had some pearl effect in it, and that's what we got. Wow, I can't wait to see what it looks like in the rocket grove. This right here, this is why you never throw away old plastic. I know there's some bait makers out there that when they get just like small pucks like this, they just toss it away. I save every single little ounce for this exact reason right here. You can throw a couple colors in a cup, melt it down, and maybe make one of the coolest colors you've ever seen. Yeah, you might not sell them, you might not make any money, but they can still be used for personal use or you can give them away. That's usually what I do when I do these remelts. I give them away or if they're like really cool, you know, your boy puts a couple in his tackle box and maybe give some away. But we'll see what we're doing with these, but this color I'm so psyched for. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's check these out. Boom. Wow, bro. That turned out so sick. There we go. It's like a 
green pumpkin pearl and then that blue and purple flake it bro those are actually so sick it's hard to tell let me try to get it in the sunlight see if that helps any i mean bro that color is sick it's hard to tell on camera but these turned out insane all right the rocket grub looks so good I need to throw this back in the microwave. We're gonna do another bait. All right, y'all, here we go. Round number two. Something about that green pumpkin with the blue and purple kind of gives me like a bluegill vibe, especially with that, that shine that's in there from that pearl. I think it's gonna look sick, so we're gonna do a run of these. We might be able to get this whole thing. Boom. Just like that, slick smooms are made. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's check these out. Boom. Yeah, yeah, those. Yep. Yeah, this was definitely the right mode for these. These look sick. So hard for y'all to really tell on camera, but these are so insane. I love that color. Who knew a remelt color of all colors would turn out to be one of my favorite colors? Like, those are awesome. These slick swims also have the hook slot, so perfect little swim bait and there we go two pucks of plastic that most people probably would have just thrown away turns out to be one of the sickest colors i've really made like for a remelt this is a really really dope color a lot of times remelts just turn out to be a nasty brown or a mucusy green oversaturated these turned out perfect and it's all part of the fun of bait making let's go but all right guys that is going to do it for today's little vlog i want to start doing more of these i think this is fun if you want to see more videos like this more bait making vlogs let me know by hitting that like button like i said this is like what i do just like every day i'm a lot of cool stuff that I should be recording and making content for y'all so I might just start picking up the camera a little bit more start making more of these videos if y'all want to see those if you haven't already hit the subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching it's JT and I'm out peace